so and then we can lift yourself up oh yeah no that's pro that's nicely yeah that's uh no bueno shit 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 What's up guys welcome back or to the trail because today we're back out here first day of testing and Justine's with us as well hello hello my dear friends she was just closing the gate because Jonathan was nice enough to open up the off-road park for us today so that we can come in and test uh, Todd is with us the guy that helped us do all the repairs if you didn't watch the repairs and we've got a few familiar faces like Shamrock and a few other guys but uh one of the things that Todd fixed for me was my 4x4 shifter and I have not tried it yet. So let's see what happens here. Oh, there's feedback, which is a good sign. Okay, is that 4 low? Oh man, that's a luxury I have not experienced in a long time. At least not in here. In the Gladiator, whenever I get in that thing, I'm like, oh man, this thing, what a luxurious vehicle. The 4x4 shifter works. And <laughs> now I'm in here and what a luxurious vehicle, the 4x4 shifter works. Listen, we don't have any wood yet to knock on, so shh. Because, <laughs> here, let me put you guys down for a second. Because if you guys remember, my 4x4 shifter broke and I've been laying on my back underneath, shifting it directly <laughs> on the transfer case for the good part of probably two years. Mud, so, rain, and snow. <laughs> I'm very, very happy right now. And there's Mr. Todd right now. Looks like he got lost. Did you take a wrong turn? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, so all the trails do connect in the end, but it looks like he took a little bit of an earlier turn. You do want to keep going a little bit further. And we should get to the big clearing and meet up with everybody. We'll check out all the rigs and head in there. She definitely slides good and the drive over here was nice it was a lot more solid the Jeep definitely handled a lot better it didn't feel as squishy and definitely felt good and she sounds pretty good today too okay and we're almost ready to hit the trails let's take a quick look at who we've got with us we've got Shamrock which I'm sure you guys are familiar with if you've been watching the channel we've also got uh, Rick on 33s in his Wrangler JL Sport and we also have a new guy with us in his Rubicon this one is on 35s it's on 35s and his name is Harmon and hopefully uh, we'll see him again on the trails I think he picked up a TJ2 so we might be seeing that on the trails soon too but for now we've got the JL and then we have we'll walk this way I guess we've got Big Bird on 33s and hopefully we will be having a good time and not too many breakdowns we did repair a lot including putting some new bump stops here for the radiator supports so we have those on both sides and we hopefully will not have any more radiator issues because yeah we did all the body mounts we did the rear corners we did everything so all the body mounts are brand new the torque boxes the floors we even did some gussets on the body mounts themselves on the frame. However, I still need to paint them and I still need to paint this because this morning, this was still tacky. It's not really tacky anymore, but we need to take care of this. And I couldn't paint this because I still had, well, I couldn't put on the fenders because I still had to paint this. And that's why I also didn't put on the rear bumper because I'm gonna do all of that and do like a rear end transformation for you guys. So that is coming. But let's keep going and let's keep looking at the rigs. We've got Todd in his Frankenstein Silverado because this is a Silverado on a blazer frame with axles out of something else too. So <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a mishmash of different things and he, names it, he named it Moose. So this is Moose and he is the gentleman that helped me fix Big Bird. So definitely he has to come out with us for the first initial run just to see how well the thing actually performs and how the repairs did. This is Jonathan, the sh uh, the shop owner, the uh, park owner, and this is his XJ. And this thing is pretty cool. It's cut off in the rear. He's got the uh, fuel cell mod. 
because uh, I guess for whatever reason that axle and that fuel cell did not want to sit together in the back but yeah this thing's pretty cool it's just a trail pig but what else do you need when you're out here and last but not least we have Lucas's TJ also on 33s and this is the stuff that I'm gonna be coating my Jeep in so you can see the texture and this is called monster liner this product so you can see it comes out pretty textured and I like it it's very tough it looks great and I think we're gonna be doing ours in yellow and I will be doing the inside of the Jeep with the same stuff as well so just wait for that the only thing is I'm waiting for some color swatches but I really love the texture of this stuff and I think it looks great honestly cannot wait to do my entire Jeep in the same style uh, I don't know exactly what color we're going with on the inside but the outside is gonna be yellow for sure I knocked something off of my starter with those branches because it won't fucking start. Oh my goodness. We're not even two minutes in. <laughs> TJ's famous for this though. Always two minutes in and she's it good. Won't, it won't turn over now. Ultimate content drama. Let's do this. <laughs> I'll get the blowtorch. You already got a snack. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. Jonathan's ready. You know, pull up, pop He's too. ready. <laughs> This is not his He's first rodeo. The <laughs> and after seeing Mike wouldn't have to crawl around un under the Jeep. <laughs> the first place he is is under the Jeep. I don't get Jeep. it. You want me to record? You want to help, help him out? Uh... Uh, yeah. It's right here, you see this? You cut right into it, you see how it's cut? That's fine. Well, I know, but I just want you to be I aware. thought you were talking about this. No, no. We're but good. I know we're good. And we came down in the front a little bit on the front bumper, yeah, that was heavy, but, but that's what it's for. It took it like a champ. Honestly, I was trying to go on that angle where you saw me just walk it up but it was hard for me to line it up so stupid of me I tried to send it when I knew I wasn't lined up properly but that's part of the fun right so let's go catch we, the we others. made it up and yeah let's go catch the others yeah come forward you're gonna want to get your tire up near where that root is so that you can kind of walk it like a v-notch yeah it'll be easier if you position the back over there Yeah, a little more driver. More driver. Yep, like that. Go straight. Come up. Go, keep going. Keep going. Now passenger. Now passenger. It's just that back tire. You got to bump it a little bit. It should come up. Yeah, right there. Yep. Not too hard. You were close, you were close. Yeah. You've got to get his rear end a little more over. It's kind of easier to move over. So it is easier if you have it coming in from that side. Yep. Passenger, passenger. Yeah. You're clear. Not bad. I guess he can make it. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what was happening with my Jeep back there. I think my theory is when I came up on the ledge there and I stalled it, the starter was just in a position where it was kind of binded and it didn't want to turn over. So 
somehow we got it to turn over and eventually it just freed up. But let's see how the other TJ does going up this because this is just a little baby climb. This is our warm up. There's a lot better climbs in there. There's a hundred acres of climbs in there, but uh, yeah. More driver, more driver. Yeah, right there. You got it. Nice. Yeah, so this one, it's all about lining it up in that notch. If you can get yourself with your tire to come up in this notch properly, then it's gonna be easy. But it's real easy to get hung up on that ledge. I'll show you guys, there's like a pretty good sized ledge over here. Yeah, so this undercut is where I was sitting with my back tire and it didn't really wanna jump up. So that's pretty much it. Once you move over a little bit, you can kind of gradually walk up this rock it's not too bad. Do you want spotter in any way? Okay, you got your spotter. You got it. it. You're locked in. Yes. Yes. Chris, up. Straight. Chris, come. Woo! Making it look so easy. Yeah, that was a good one. No, no, you want to stay where you are. Don't come this way. Stay there. <laughs> Straighten it out. Perfect, keep it there and you're good. No, oh, that was good, man. Yeah, a lot of people will argue, but I'm telling you, these JLs, they're the most capable Jeeps that you can buy out of the box. So if you bought a brand new TJ Rubicon, a brand new JK Rubicon, a brand new JL Rubicon, these things are the most capable. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that and won't agree with me, but it's just facts. They really are. And they're awesome Jeeps, man. They really are awesome Jeeps. I know that some people hate them because they're all computers and they're all sensors and this and that. But at the end of the day, they, they really are awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
see a lot there too. Alright, try it one more time on an angle. Yeah. You can get that tire before the other tire touches so you're like that going up. Don't let your front come down again though. Stay up, but aim it that way. Ah, you didn't even you didn't even touch that time. See that angle's the thing. Angle of the thing. Part of wheeling is knowing when to quit so that you can make it to the next obstacle. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> well, looks like Moose had a little bit of a casualty on this tree right here. He lost the tail light, but it happens. Fortunately, it was just the tail light and none of the metal is dented.
That's one way to do it. point I thought I was gonna crush you guys but uh we we made it we slid off a little but we made it <laughs> yeah right. buddy a little bit more passenger yeah right there yep yep it's going, it's going I think you need to come a little bit more passenger and get your tire in the groove come a little bit more my way and get your tire in the groove like uh, half a foot Yep, right there. Yeah, you're lined up good. Yeah, you're lined up good. When you bump it, turn my way. Everybody's bouncing it off trees today. Now, if you're wondering why I had those big old beefy fenders installed, well, <laughs> that's why. I just folded closed. You're okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. All good. We're good. And once again, we are here. Um, I want to try to rock the truck. Yeah, try rocking it and in see here. if. Just uh, if we can. Okay, it's in first. But we need like the whole squad over here to nudge it a little bit. But see if you can roll it back while it's in neutral, and I'll drop the clutch to, to turn yeah, it over yeah, a little that's bit. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Just to, there's something going on with the. Yeah, we'll see if we can turn it over. Just a hair. Just gonna have to go to the no turn off game. Yeah, I guess we're leaving it running, but what the fuck? Yeah, something's, something's up. <sighs> All right, so what we're gonna try is to just give her a push and then I'll drop it into gear to kind of roll over the flywheel a bit. Yep. Speed yeah, I did. No, we're not trying to bump it. We're just trying to roll over the flywheel a little. Oh, if that was even the problem to begin with. Huh? Pick up your big socket and do what you did. Hey, Tony, can you move your G-Pack? Should I move the G-Pack more? No. Yeah, so. Here's the arc. I don't hear it turning over. Yeah. Pop the hood for me. I'm gonna try to get it from the top. It's got your starter motor. Oh. There she goes. Okay, moment of truth, because we've drawn a crowd again. So let's see. Come on, baby. Hey! I guess we're gonna need to get a starter. Worst case, I'll just place it. Hopefully it solves itself, but uh, at the end of the day, starter's not the worst. I can do that in about 10 minutes, so not too disappointed. But if that's the, the only thing that we got to worry about today, then I think we did pretty good. And right back to going and hitting more climbs. I know this one doesn't look like much, but it definitely is an interesting one. And I think this might be the most challenging out of the three. So we just did the first one over there, then we did the second one, and now the third one. And I'm thinking this one might be the most challenging. So yeah, let's see. You can kind of see the scale there. Why are you 
scared for? Let's see what that rock you're hung up oh, on. It's fucking right on your shock, man. Oh! Oh, this is a this is a big rock. Uh, yeah. We just put a rock. We'll put the rock up there and lift yourself, and then we can lift yourself up. Oh yeah, no, that's pro that's nicely. Yeah. That's uh, no bueno, as we like to call it. Yeah. We are not six feet as Mike. No bueno. It's the size of the dog. Almost. Yeah, that's fun and over. No. Nothing, man. Nothing. Still nothing. Uh, Interesting. It's getting worse, Mike. Mm -hmm. That's not... Alright, ideas, what is this? Starter! Mm -hmm. No, I know, but like, what's wrong with the starter? It's fucked. Mm -hmm. Like, you need a new one? It's not doing anything. I don't understand how it got damaged that we... We went off-roading. <laughs> I know I ask dumb questions, but I'm still learning. Looks like we definitely need a starter and uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to leave it running for now because yeah. <laughs> a hop and a skip and he made it up. <laughs> well guys, big shout out to Mr. Todd. He is the one keeping this thing running. It looks like it's me, but it's not. So... Uh, Big Bird likes Todd a lot better than Mike. Yeah, well, Todd doesn't yell at us as much and, you know... That's true. <laughs> Although I did threaten it with the trip. I, I'm not the nicest to this Jeep. So let me show you guys, if I can even show you guys, what this is. It is the neutral safety switch. On the pedal, it, yeah, it's impossible to see. So I'll explain to you then, because I don't have a light to show you. So on the pedal, the clutch pedal, it goes up into the firewall, and then along the pedal, there's a bar. And that bar is your hydraulic, like what goes into your clutch master. On that bar, there's a little slider, and that's your neutral safety switch, or your clutch switch. And that was not making connection, which was not sending power from the ignition to the starter. So that little switch, I just played with it and rolled it, and that pretty much helped for now. But at least we know that that's the issue and I know where to fix it. So I guess I'm going to have to put my newfound key back into the, my toolbox because I don't need to start it with this anymore. Look at that. Bruce has his own luxurious little pad with grass and everything. <laughs> this guy's living. 
Well, Justine's all excited because Jonathan just told us that the number one animal on his property here is porcupines. And those are the one thing he can't get rid of because nobody wants to touch them because they're prickly. I've never seen one before and apparently they climb trees. So yeah, that's, a, that's my new goal out here is I want to see a porcupine because I haven't seen one in person either. And it'd be pretty cool. Well, Jonathan's going to go down here. It's going to be nice and spotty. Down this. You guys ever see wild porcupine? Apparently we have those around here. Oh my gosh! And apparently they climb trees. Like this guy's... He's in there. He's so cute! Here, go get the other guys. Well guys, I guess we ended up finding a porcupine. It was our goal and it took all of 20 minutes. <laughs> Mike, they need a chainsaw. Chainsaw? You need a saw? It's good, it's good, it's good. Well guys, that's pretty cool. I didn't think we would see him that quick, but there he is. So cute. I know it's hard to see, but he's right there. Can you see him through my camera? Yeah, it's hard to see, but there he is. Kind of looks almost furry, so but uh, cute. yeah, I'm sure he's oh not too God, furry. He's a little bit face. more rough. <laughs> yeah, sorry I didn't get that last few guys going down the hill, but Porcupine, Porcupine was pretty cool, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think we got most of the snow off when we went, but uh, guy's coming down in his brand new Bronco. So, yeah, let's see how that goes. And the Jeep started up. Guy, back up. Keep the wheel straight. Don't turn so soon, okay? Okay, go ahead. Don't turn left. You're turning left too soon, though. Go. No, don't turn there. Go more straight. Yes. Now just bump it up. Straight though. Straight. Hey listen, once you stop moving forward, giving it gas doesn't help. You gotta have gas before you stop moving.
Good job. This one was a little bit hard. Uh, this is me and Todd's nemesis from last year because neither of us, holy shit. So ne neither of us were able to make it up this last year. And we made it this year. It went, oh, I made it this year. It was a little bit slippery. At one point I thought I might have come off into that tree, but here we are. And the reason I sent it so hard is because just a minute ago, we spent about an hour and a half under this tree fixing the front end of the TJ again because it didn't want to start. We went through different videos and we went through everything that you could think of and uh, eventually I went to the starter and I started bending the connector a little bit and I think it just had a poor connection because I bent it to the point where now it works. So I don't know if it was the, the switch under the dash or if it was the connector, but it works now. So either way, it works. If you guys have any insight and you want to let me know if you guys have experienced the same thing in your TJ, let me know because maybe you know more than me. But uh, right now it still starts. I left it running. So yeah, should be good for the rest of the day. And hopefully we don't have that issue come up again. But at the beginning of the day, before the first climb, I went through a lot of like, I don't know how to explain it, like basically growth like this. <laughs> So it was basically a bunch of like trees and shrubs and stuff like this and we are allowed to drive through there But it's just yeah, there's stuff in the way and I think something might have got jammed in there and just bent that connector a little bit to the point where it didn't want to connect But now we're okay. So now Todd's gonna try to send it up the hill That was close! Keep it running! There's a rock behind your tire here. Yeah, you're okay, you're okay. You're just gonna climb up a bit with the back. <laughs> That's exactly why I told Sholly to get in there. Is she long? <laughs> She's got the biggest smile on. <laughs> she was so worried when I told her to get in for this one. She's like, oh my god. <laughs>
pedal to the metal. <laughs> and apparently everybody else in the group, because when I broke down, I told, well, I didn't tell, but they decided to keep going. And I said, yeah, you should keep going. Why are you going to wait around for me? So they all went down and apparently everybody stuck. And Mitch, who has the green tracker that you guys have seen before, uh, the one with the external gas filler, uh, apparently the tie rods broke on it and the tires are both facing out. So that's interesting. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five of us and two vehicles with two seats. So we're gonna figure this out and we're gonna get us all down there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of Tetrising. So we're gonna put Milan in the back and we all have a seat now. <laughs> and it should be, oh yeah, nice and toasty in here because I cannot feel my toes after wearing these boots outside for hours on end. Uh, usually it's not too bad, but I was out there trying to fix this thing and unfortunately my my feet are just non-existent okay. anymore. I cannot feel them. <laughs> you ready? Sorry Todd, I'm a bad influence. Let's go pull some people out of the mud. I told Shelly to drive. Oh, is she driving? I don't know, she doesn't know how. She's 17 and it's not a clutch, so fucking get in there. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. It's a learn, is it not? Well, there you go. Charlie's hitting it in the uh, in moose. <laughs> I want to drive. So do it. I can't. You give gas and Todd just flies on the <laughs> Well, we found everybody, or at least two of them. Let's go see how stuck everybody is, because it sounds probably a lot worse than it is. But at the same time, I know one person already broke their tie rod, so they're going to have a fun time getting out. Tie rod? So they're just winching him over there with the TJ. Lucas with his crazy man-sized winch, 17 and a half pounds. The thing's as thick as my thumb. What'd you collect now? Moss. Because I'm terrible at watering my plants and this will prevent me from overwatering or underwatering. Oh, look at that. You know how those little, they look like little balls. I forgot what they're called, but they're also meant to put into your potted plants so that you prevent them from overwatering or underwatering, but this is free. It is still slick out here. Like, you see all the mud just flying everywhere anytime you floor it? <laughs> I love it. And are you really off-roading if you don't have mud on the inside of your windshield? <laughs> because uh, I don't know. Every time I go off-road, that's how I end up. Dash. On the dash, on the steering wheel, on the door, inside, on your face, on my face, on my hat, in my ear. <laughs> and just like that, sorry to say it, but the trail day is over, guys. Uh, I know it wasn't that long, and honestly, I, I wish I was out there a bit longer, and I wish I got a little bit more climbs in and a few more trails just to explore. But it's because we broke down, and we had to fix the starter, and we had to take care of that. So it happens. It is what it is. I honestly think it's because I drove through those bushes just over there, <laughs> but it is what it is. We got it fixed. It is a shakedown run and all the repairs that we did, did come out great. So nothing is squeaking or making any noises or popping or creaking. So that's good. All the body mounts are solid. The front is solid. We didn't eat another rad, so that's a good thing. And the way we were sending it today, if we were going to eat a rad, we were going to eat one today, believe me. So I am very happy that we made it out of the trail and we're ready to go home in one piece but this is not the end this is just the beginning i still have a full makeover for the rear end i'm going to be putting on a new bumper I'll new fenders and a few other things and justine has something to say i'll tell you one thing it's definitely not sticky anymore <laughs> yeah so <laughs> the the primer was a little bit sticky and still tacky before we left and uh yeah apparently it's all good now <laughs> but 
Still got to paint that side. I still got to do the rear bumper. I still got to do the rear fenders. There's still a couple more things to do this week. So we will have one more day of working on the Jeep and then back out to sending it. So definitely guys, if you guys want to see the next video of us taking it off, uh, taking it off road, I don't know why I can't talk, but definitely jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, give this video a share. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one because the season is just around the corner and the sends Oh, buddy, <laughs> the sends this year are going to be wonderful. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace.